So, okay. so welcome to our activated vegan food fest, uh, seminar online and it's theoretical mostly. Um, and uh, here we will talk about, I want to inspire you actually. My goal is to inspire you to start uh, adding activated food into your life, into your diet, whether you are vegan or vegetarian or, or non-vit, nothing, like just meat eater as well, but you are interested in having a few to try to uh, use the food as um, a way to give you energy and to help you develop the, the mind. Mm -hmm. This is a food for the mind, the activated food. It's food that gives energy to the mind. Um, there are many healthy options uh, out there. There are many um, options that are very nutritious, uh, kinds of uh, uh, systems, diets that are very nutritious or, he or healthy. Uh, our food, the activated food, is... Um, aims towards food for the brain. This is our goal. Energy for the brain, energy for the soul, uh, which is something very difficult because only by eating we lose energy. We lose prana, vitality. Uh, we might take uh, calories, but we lose energy, vitality. Only just because we have to digest and absorb the food. So we need to find a way not to lose so much vitality when we eat. And this is what activated food is doing. It's giving, uh, it's, it's giving a kind of food that gives energy. And this is what I want to talk about today, about the alive food. But before that, if you have some questions now, I saw Ari wrote something. I can answer to your questions. I can start talking about um, the alive food that it was planned. And if you have more questions or some other question comes, uh, no problem, I will answer to that. So Ari asks, how can we make activated peanut or tahini butter? And if we can, can we store it in a jar like the normal peanut butter and eat it Yes. Okay. Now, that question, this question goes very well with what I want to say about a live food. So, how can we make peanut or tahini butter activated? And if we can store it. Okay. Storing the food, first of all, because I have this question all the time how long this lasts in the fridge? How long? This how long that lasts. With activated food, you can never tell because it's activated, it's alive. So you can never, I would suggest to make things, to learn to make things quickly and eat it, the, uh, at the, uh, eat it immediately. But uh, even at the seminar, I have ways to prepare something without cooking it or without finishing the preparation so that when it's time to eat it to complete the preparation or cook it and in this way you can save time but at the same time has have activated food so by answering to answer your question eri i will start first talking about alive food so everyone will know what I mean. The activated food has three preconditions to be to considered activated. One has to be alive, and I will explain what I mean. Second has to be easily digested, because if it's not easily digested, it will take prana, vitality to digest. And third has to be tuned with the environment we are. In. Again, for the same reasons, because if it's not tuned, then the system makes extra effort to make this ingredient, this food, tuned with what we are. 
For example, if we eat winter food, food that is made for winter in the summer, the system makes effort to balance the temperature, to balance the results of this food that is made for the winter, makes effort. And this, we, we, we waste energy, we waste vitality. It might be healthy, it might be nutritious, but if it's not tuned with the environment we live, then it's the body makes extra effort to accept it. Hmm? So anything that is not harvests in, in our country and everything is not in season, it needs more energy to be digested and absorbed. But I will not talk about this now. And I will not talk about easily digested today unless there is a question. Now I want to talk about alive food. It means that the food has its own energy to be digested, its own vitality to be digested. If the food that you eat is very nutritious, but it doesn't have any vitality, it, that means that it, take, it will take vitality from your system to be digested. This is problem for our energy levels. Okay? So there are two reasons. No, there are, so there are three reasons for the food to be to consume too much energy. First, as, as I said before, not to be uh, tuned with the environment. Second, to be very heavy. So it will take energy for, for the stomach to digest. And third, not to have any energy on its own and has to take energy from the system to be digested. And I repeat, I will talk now about the third, to have energy on its own. So which food has its own energy? Which food has its own energy? What do you think? You can write or you can open your microphone. If you don't want, because I will put this in social media, if you want to close the camera and talk, if you don't want to be seen, then you can open microphone, close the camera and talk or write something. I, my question is, what do you think? Just, just use your common sense. What do you think the food is alive? When? When is this alive? Yes, Eric. The food that has absorbed the sun. Very nice. So food that it has absorbed the sun has its own energy. Yes, true. Very good. Uh, Ruby says, roots and greens picked at point of eating. Exactly. Freshly, freshly, fresh fruit and vegetables. Yes, because it has the sun and because it's alive. It, it's, it's breathing. Huh? It was breathing just before. So it is alive. Yes. Anything else that you can guess? It's soaked in These water are... and clouded. Hmm? Tell me again. Soaked in water. Yes, anything we and soak clouded. in water. You... Yes, if you soak in water, the, the plant thinks, ah, now I can grow. And whoop, it, uh, it increases, it, it gets alive again. Sprouted, yes, Rudy, Ruby. Yes, the, the sprouted food as well, because it gives, uh, it wakes up and it starts growing. So you said most of it. Um, this is the alive food. Here is uh, behind me uh, as a background, I put food that is alive. It's sprouted mug beans with brown rice, both soaked and the mug bean is sprouted. Then it's Moringa. We had it in India when we went for our activated food, uh, food uh, seminar in India. Uh, we had Moringa because it's, it was everywhere, Moringa on the trees. Coconuts, again, from this. And um, a kind of, what is this? It's a kind of vegetable uh, with, again, coconut and tomato. All harvest that day around. So that's a live food. Now, there is a, there is a mis misunderstanding sometimes with the cooked food and the raw food. Uh, some people believe that the food that is alive is only the raw food, that the food that is not cooked. We believe 
in yogic diet and activated food, that the food that is freshly cooked keeps its vitality. Okay? And uh, we add uh, some spices that add uh, peptic enzymes in the food so that the, the digestion will not be difficult. Because yes, by cooking the food, we kill the digestive enzymes. The digestive enzymes are deactivated after 40, 50 degrees. So what we do when we cook the food, we always add spices, some specific spice. I always, every time in every seminar, I say the one formula of the spice, which is um, mustard, cumin, coriander, seeds, all these are seeds, turmeric, and five is five. Anyone can help me? Ginger. Ginger is another formula, this classic formula that we have. Chili. Yes, black pepper. Huh? Which one? Black pepper or long pepper? Pepper, yes. Pepper. Something uh, hot. So this is the formula that we use. It has all the digestive enzymes and it helps digestion in cooked food, for cooked food, which has the, some of the digestive enzymes, uh, if not all, are destroyed. So we sort out the digestive enzymes and then the heat, especially if it comes from fire, the heat gives extra vitality to the food. So cooked food is okay, is, can be alive, can keep its vitality as long as it is freshly cooked. After four hours, the food loses its vitality and it's not considered alive anymore. Four to five hours depends depends on the cooking and everything. So a live food is very important. And I cannot, I, I didn't see that enough to the people who have the seminar and the members of the seminar. I didn't see it enough. Uh, they keep asking me, oh, why not? I need to eat the yesterday food. I understand that we don't want to waste food. I understand this completely. That's why be very strict. Cook only what you can eat today. Do not, over, do not cook too much, too much food. I know that some people, you know, in Cyprus, we have this habit when we have children, we cook every day more food just in case our children come, just in case our children pass by and eat. So they, they our parents all, they cook too much food and then they're waiting there. Maybe the, the children will come, maybe they will not. If they don't come, they keep the food and they eat it the next day. But the food the next day is not activated anymore. It's not alive. So be very strict. Organize yourself more. So the food that you eat is cooked today. Another, so another problem that people have is that they go to work and they wake up in the morning or the night before and they cook their food so they can have it in the middle of the day. This is kind of a problem. The day before, we cannot do it. And I mean, I know that this is practically problematic, but I'm here to tell you what's activated or not. If you, uh, there is nothing about it. So one solution for me that I found that I did when I was working, uh, until two o'clock in the middle of the day. What I did is I had my raw meal in the middle of the day. And then I had my cooked meal after work at four or five o'clock. That was the solution I had when I was working. That means that you can have a salad for in the middle of the day, a rich salad, like put soaked nuts inside, um, but everything raw, to have a raw meal in the middle of the day where you can make it even the day before or two days before if you want and keep it in an airtight container and you can have your raw meal in the middle of the day at work and then have your cooked meal after. 
I have a person who should be here today. I don't know why she's not here. Who was waking up in the morning, having her cooked meal, like having rice with vegetables and dal and uh, everything cooked, like meal like the one I have on my background, uh, but tuned with uh, Cyprus, not with India. So it was waking up, cooking. The cooking of the activated meal last it's 20 minutes maximum. Eating breakfast, the cooked meal, a complete meal, and having a salad in the middle of the day. Or having an energy ball in the middle of the day, whatever. Um, but she, she had her main meal in the morning. You can also do that. Of course, the ideal would be to have the raw meal in the morning, where the Pep uh, digestive fire is not very high to have the the cooked meal the main meal the main complete meal in the middle of the day until three o'clock where the digestive fire is high and then have a liquid meal like a soup or a smoothie at night where the digestive fire is low this is the idea but sometimes because of work, this cannot happen. The other solution is to cook your meal in the morning and have it early at work, early. To have a, your meal at 11 or 12, 12 starts, the digestive fire starts, to have your meal at uh, 12 o'clock. Um, these are some solutions. I know it's not always uh, possible, but uh, do what you can and leave the rest. There is nothing we can do. Um, when there is nothing we can do, there is nothing we can do. So for the alive meal, it's important to cook your meal and eat it soon. It's important to um, use fresh vegetables, sprout and soak. Soaking is very important. Soaking is very important. And um, let me share with you a part of the seminar. So you can, because I want to start um, uh, inspiring you to use the seminar. So I will share my screen and show all the, how you get into the seminar so that you can, Yes. Can you, uh, Eddie, can you see the screen? Can you see my screen? Just yes, it, yes, it's black. Thank you. Okay, because I can only see Eddie now. Now go to internet. Yeah, I can see it. I will write yoga life with Anandi. Yes, you can see. Okay. Yoga life with Anandi. Okay, let's see if we come, yes. And and I will get into the seminar. If you're not log in, logged in, you put log in, or you put, there is a um, an option right up, log in, and you log in with your email and your uh, password. And if you don't remember your password, you say, I forgot my password and they send you to reset it, okay? So this is now my, the original one. So I will go, that's, this is now the, as an admin, I get in as an admin. So I didn't forget your question, Eri. I just need to co uh, connect it with everything. Courses.
complete kite. Okay, and this is the, you go to um, here, and I want to talk about, ah, and you ask Eri how to make pasta. Eri, you ask, uh, you ask me. Yeah, I couldn't find uh, it. You go to part four. Ah, uh, you found it? No, I couldn't. Huh? You couldn't find it. Um, you, you go how to make, preparing the main meal, formulas and cooking training, and should be there, okay? Preparing the main meal. Can you see it? Yes. You should find it there, the pasta, okay? Mm -hmm. And now I will go to a live food. Okay. So for our live food, we said sprouted. We should add the sprouted food as much as we can. Soaking the seeds, you see? Soaking the seeds and the fruit and the vegetables. Actually, I wake up in the morning and um, I decide what to eat and I put everything in water, like uh, what vegetables I will eat, what fruit I will eat, everything in a big uh, uh, container with water, with fresh, good quality water. Uh, the rice, the beans that, and the nuts that I eat, I, I should soak them the day before. The day before I, eat, I, I, I soak the seeds and the pulses and everything. And the fruit, the day, the same day. Okay, so sprouting, soaking, and then fresh food. Fresh food, frozen food, pasteurized food, processed food, too much cooking and pre-cooked food kills food, decreases its vitality. So some people say, oh, but freezing keeps the vitamins. Wait a minute, let me see you. Ah, oh, I cannot see you. Ah, I can see. So, yes, freezing might keep some vitamins. I'm not saying no, but it doesn't keep it the vital vitality. Unless the food that we freeze is used to very high temperatures. Like if a food is used to, to grow in, uh, I don't know, Canada, in, this, in the winter in Canada, yes, you can freeze it. It is used into freezing conditions. But if a, fru a, a food is like a mango, for example, or um, fruit that are used, they need warmth, then it's killed. Even if you freeze it um, immediately, and even if you freeze it whole, again, it's killed. Like, and, and the best example is the the peas, the green peas. The green peas, yes, they need cold to grow, but not frozen cold. They don't, they cannot be freezed and be alive. Yes, they need cold temperatures, but not frozen temperatures all the time, prolonged frozen temperatures. So instead of buying the frozen green peas, it's good to buy the dry green peas whole and soak them. And then you have alive, green peas instead of dead frozen green, green peas. This is a, an amazing example or, or the corn. The corn, I see it in the bite cut, frozen. This has no vitality at all. And I doubt if it has also vitamins or minerals. I don't believe. But okay, that's not my job now. Not my job to tell you what vitamins and what nutritious value, nutrition value has each food. My, my job here is to tell you what food has energy, vitality, and what food doesn't have. So uh, we avoid to eat frozen vegetables. I know it's easy, I know. But the problem is that we don't understand the benefits we get by having an alive brain, a brain that has enough energy to be alive. We didn't understand yet. And we prefer our convenience 
to ah uh, frozen food are just uh, frozen vegetables are just open food throw I make vegetable rice. This has no energy. So yes, you will be this moment you'll have a quick meal that is considered healthy, but long term the body will not have enough energy for you, not have enough vitality to be to to be alive, to, to have to be concentrated. And this is what uh, many people are, makes me very happy when I hear people saying that two things, when they eat alive food, first, they are not getting hungry easily. And second, they don't feel sleepy and down when they eat. You eat and you get up and do jobs. You don't need to rest and to, huh? because, because the food has its own energy to be digested. So you don't feel food down. And you, you're not hungry after two hours because the body needs vitality and maybe vitamins and minerals and, and nutrition. They need more nutrients. The body needs more nutrients and asks food all the time. So we need nutritious, but also full of energy food. Okay, so frozen and tin food. Yes, I know it's very easy to use, but Long term, it doesn't make our life easy, long term, because then we cannot think. Okay? Ah, I keep sharing my screen. Erimu, huh? uh, uh, I do, I, I, I can ne, see ne, my tora screen. Blepo, yeah. Blepo to court. yeah, I can see that. Okay. Okay, all right. Just uh, close the uh, switch of the microphone, Erin. If you haven't, I can see. I, okay. Uh, I got a quick yes, question. Yes, Luciana. Yes, yes, please. Yes. So, is there any form of preserving food that's, I mean, obviously frozen, no tinned, you said? What about like the way at least my grandma used to do, you know, with jars and fermented, fermented uh, food? Pickles. Yeah, but you can also like do jams and I don't know, tomato sauce, stuff like that in glass jars um, with usually like a wax top. Do you no, this doesn't have energy. First of all, because you cook to make it, you cook it to make the jam or the sauce, you cook it, you cook it long, long time. And then you yeah. save it. Um, it doesn't have energy, but if mm -hmm. you use a little bit of jam in fresh bread, or if you use a little bit of sauce in, it will it will it, it's okay if it's a little bit. It will not. I don't like mixing dead and alive food together, because mm -hmm. always the dead food wins. Always, unfortunately. Uh, it's not uh, my opinion, it's what it happens. The dead food will win, will take their life food down. I don't like mixing, but if it's small amounts, small amounts, um, it, 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 would, it should be okay. But the only pre, 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 um, food that you can keep long um, and uh, not, do, do not does not lose its energy is the fermented food, the fermented vegetables. Okay. To put them under fermentation because the then the bacteria that the good bacteria that are are created keep the food alive. They breathe. They breathe inside the food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right, thanks. Um. So small amounts of uh, preserved food, it's okay, but very, very small amounts, not equal amounts with the, with the fresh food. So, um, and then we have a problem with the pasta, the bread and the uh, milk, pasta bread and milk, which are all pre-cooked, pasteurized, or... Um, yeah, pre-cooked pre -cooked of pasteurized. So in the seminar, we have ways to prepare pasta, bread, 
and milk in a very quick way, very quick way, I, I promise, it's very quick. And you can keep the dough for the bread and the pasta in the fridge, it is alive and it gets more alive, it becomes like sour bread, which is full of good bacteria that eat the, the gluten. And then you, the food also, the, the bread and the pasta has less gluten, which is very good these days. Um, so the bread, the pasta and the milk, we need to put into the habits to make them ourselves so that we can uh, save ourselves from three main ingredients that are dead if we buy them from outside and we don't make them. Any question about that? Corina, I... I have a question based on the lady's question. So if we, yes. sun, if we leave the tomatoes to dry in the sun, like my grandma was telling me a few days ago, and then we activate them again with water later, as we do with the the cranberries, the dried cranberries, for example, or the dates. Is um, that activated yes. or we don't want that? Anything that is sun dried, it's okay. Okay, it's okay. They keep their uh, pep the digestive enzymes if it's sun dried and um, it's so easy to digest and they keep the energy of the sun. It's fine. Is the same, Eric, you like taking the green peas and dry them. And then you put them in water again. It's exactly the same. You can even not put them in water and add them into the food, like sun-dried tomatoes. You can just cut them and add them into the food. They are not the super uh, activated food, but they are not dead. It's somewhere in, in the middle. It's fine. And the dry fruit, the same. Like you dry, uh, you dry, dry, fu dry food, uh, it's good. It's not the most activated things you can have. Of course, fresh fruit is better, but it's not that. It's not that. Um, one raw meal per day, it's a nice way to keep our vitality high. But remember, when you eat the raw meal, you don't mix it with cooked food. And um, I will answer to a question. The... Um, Oat, the rolled oat, the raw oat flakes are not activated. They are, in order to make them into flakes, they are, they use high temperatures. So they're not raw. Okay. If you want to have oat, you have to have it whole, like wheat, like a seed, in a seed form. Otherwise, it's not activated. So you cannot have rolled oat like uh, flakes, oat flakes with, um, I don't know, with fruit and say, oh, I had my raw meal. It's not your raw meal having oat flakes. You cannot mix it with fruit or soaked nuts. They are not alive. They are not raw. Okay. Uh, and then the big thing is the activated sweets. Uh, to stop because pasta, milk, and bread and and desserts, to say it properly, sweet sweet uh, stuff desserts are not activated. So and if we if we are in the habit to eat to have dessert, which is a terrible habit, but some, some people cannot uh, get rid of it. That, easily and we'll do an extra lesson on um, get uh, get over the addiction of sweets of sweet taste if we are in this habit at least use dry fruit to sweeten your desserts or uh, syrups that are not white sugar because the white sugar It kills everything we will do. You might have an activated meal, activated meal in the morning, in the middle of the day, and then in the afternoon, say, oh, we'll have a cake. And that's it. It takes all the energy for many reasons. Because the raw sugar is, the, is a deadly poison. Second, because the combination sugar, milk, 
and flour and good bad quality flour even worse but even whole flour um, it's very very difficult to digest it's not digested actually if you mix sugar milk and sugar milk and uh, wheat and flour this is is not digested it's not digested it's impossible to be digested this combination so this combination is created and plus butter or oil makes it even heavier. This combination is made for 200 years ago, 100 years ago, when there's, there was no food. And we needed something that it was heavy and very nutritious to be able to have a piece and just walk kilometers to go to work or to go to school. This doesn't happen today. And the digestive fire of people a hundred years ago was very high because they wouldn't eat all day. We eat all day, we eat every three hours. This is what they tell us to do now, which is a, a crime. It shouldn't happen this way. So we eat too much to be able to handle milk, butter, white sugar and wheat in the same thing. So we must uh, be able to get rid of this addiction somehow. And in the seminar, seminar we have the stages of each, um, uh, for each one. Just a minute. Gallery view. Okay, that's me. I stop sharing the screen. So, yes, this is with the alive food. This is the, these are the preconditions. Give me a moment. Okay, I read uh, Ruby. So many false sugars, sweeteners, and syrups, nightmare. Yes, that's why with them, um, there are many false sugars. That, that's why I always suggest you go, uh, you, you check in your country, which is the local sweetener. Like in our country, we have uh, carob syrup, carobs. We have a lot of carobs and we make carob syrup. So our local sweetener is carob syrup. This you can easily then find a local producer or go to a small shop and ask for good quality carob syrup and use this as a sweetener. Of course, there's always the option of honey. Um, the honey is an excellent food. We use it in Ayurveda as a carrier because it can carry the ingredients, the nutrients, the benefits of uh, what, you what you have all over the body quickly, quicker. So we use it as a carrier, but there are ethical reasons why we cannot use honey in everything, first of all, because the bees make it for themselves. And we cannot take all the honey from the bees. We can take some honey, but not all the honey from the bees and give them sugar. This is what they do now. They take all the honey to sell it to the supermarket and then they give them sugar, they give the bees sugar. This is it's not sustainable for the bees or for the environment. So we have to be careful about that. We have to again find the producer that sells um, uh, anything that's in the supermarket. It means it's huge production. So better not to buy from supermarkets the honey. And the second thing about honey is if you cook it, it becomes toxic. So you must eat it always raw. So you cannot put honey in cakes. You must find the local sweetener, like uh, uh, carob syrup, like uh, agave syrup, like uh, different countries have different kinds of, uh, in, uh, in India they have the jaggery, which is made from coconut, from coconut uh, sweetener. Every country must have one sweetener and uh, if you cannot find if you blend dry fruit 
dry sweet fruit, if you blend it uh, with a little bit of water, you make a nice syrup actually to add to your um, to your cakes, to your um, to your coffee or what, to your not coffee to your drinks. Hmm? Coffee is another thing that it's a problem because the coffee increases the metabolism and increases the energy, but actually it just makes the, the, the nervous system hyperactive and then it takes it back. This is what we don't realize. That yes, I drink my coffee and wake up, but in the middle of the day, I need, a, I need another coffee because whoop, the, the higher you, fall, you re rise, the lower you fall. And that's why I have people all the time telling me, oh, but uh, uh, I, I, I didn't, uh, I can't without coffee, I can't wake up. So have activated food and you will not need coffee. Have activated food and you will not need the coffee. And um, half of the problems that you might have might be from coffee, like hypertension, um, stress, extra stress, anger, uh, problem in the stomach, like uh, too much uh, gastric uh, acid in the stomach, problem in the intestines. Everything might come from coffee and you don't know it because you drink every day. Mm. I, I got a yeah. question on that. Yeah. So yes. are, is it caffeine or coffee? Will you say the same thing about Sorry. caffeine? Caffeine is one thing. Yes, most of the things are from caffeine, but coffee, even if it's without caffeine, it's uh, acidic. So it makes your blood acid, acidic. What mm. means that? I will, I will explain it in a simple way, okay? Um, mm. Acidic blood means has more carbon dioxide than uh, oxygen. And all the food that is uh, too much, uh, to, which has uh, uh, all the food that is dead and processed is acidic, everything. Like you take a beautiful peach, for example, it's alkalic. But if you remove the skin, if you cook it and leave it, uh, uh, make it into a jam or whatever, it becomes acidic because it's dead. So the coffee is not only the caffeine that is a problem, it's that it's highly acidic and we don't drink it and it's addictive somehow. So you, you cannot say I will drink one coffee and then after three, four days, I will drink again. You, eat, you drink every day and this is a problem. We drink every day, coffee every day. And this becomes the, the, our body that has no time to recover from the coffee. And some people say, oh, I, don't need to, I drink only two coffees. So you make your blood acidic only twice per day. So when will you make it alcoholic then? So that's the problem with coffee. What do you do, Ira? I'm blending dry fruits in water and use it as sweetener. It works very well. Oh, very, very good. Yes. So, yes, the coffee, is a, it's a problem. It's a problem. But, uh, okay, we, we have to start from something. If you cannot start by stop stopping coffee right now, it's okay. Start from another. Start eating sprouts, for example. It's something. I always say, I always say, those who come to all the seminars, they heard it many times. Don't try to remove things from your diet. Try to add. Add activated food. Don't remove dead food. Add activated food. I repeat, it's very important. Do not remove now. Don't start by removing the dead food, by removing coffee from your diet, removing uh, uh, frozen tinned uh, or processed food. Don't start like that. Just start by adding activated meals. And you will see that on your own, then you feel the difference. I've tried this with so many people and it works. Most of the time it works. And if someone wants to talk about it a little bit, 
Should I, I be very... share my experience? Because I was yes. addicted yes. to coffee. Yes, tell me. Yeah, Please, so I was Eddie. addicted to coffee and I love really good quality coffee. So I did exactly what you said without thinking about it. I just eating activated. And especially when I do my breathing meditation in the morning, I'm full of energy. And then I realized that I don't need coffee and it came naturally. And that was a very big surprise. And I didn't even think about it. We didn't even discuss. So it all comes naturally when you add things, as you just said. That's it. Yes, that's true. It comes naturally. I've, 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 anyone else? Marina? Marina might want to talk. Andonis? Marina, will you talk? Are you trying to... Hello, Anixa. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would suggest... Um, Yes, to think think about it a bit, because if you see that um, it's just a habit, if you say it's just a habit and, and think about how, why do I do it? I also was drinking a lot of coffee, but Cyprus coffee. But now, like you said before, uh, if I don't remember it, I will not do it. Even even I'm so well now that I will not even uh, say, why do, the, why do I ask uh, for a coffee? I said, because... Uh, it was a, 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 a habit. And then I said, so I don't need it. It was just a habit. You have to um, clean yourself slowly. And uh, with the years, you will see that you it's, it was just a habit. And uh, you will start saying, I will not drink today. So I will see what happens. And then you, don't, you just don't remember it. Now I drink one, but sometimes. And, oh. and, and your experience with activated food, Marina? My experience, yes. Uh, actually, actually, this is actually this is it. The experience um, slowly with the years, uh, you see the, um, uh, the the good that is doing uh, to yourself, to your body, to your uh, the whole uh, system, because uh, you know that if you don't eat activated, then you will have gas. You will not have energy. Um, you will not think so strongly and uh, clearly as uh, you do when you eat act activated. Uh, you feel light, very light. You want to do things, and you feel you feel the difference on your skin, on your breathing, thinking, everything. Your strength. I mean, I'm 59, and I act uh, as the 35 year olds, the 40 year olds. When I go to, because I'm, I also do things with the horses, you know, at the farm and everything. When I tell them I'm 59 and, and I, almost 60, they don't believe me because um, you say you you talk like a young person, you act like a young person. How? And I tell them I eat healthy and uh, activated. You know, it's uh, you you see the difference and you know, you know. Even today I ate some dried fruit and I didn't soak them. And I'm sorry, but I have gas now. <laughs> it's just like that, you know, you know afterwards. <laughs> you know afterwards, and if you don't try it, you don't connect it, you know? But that's why if you add the activated food and then for, uh, for any reason, you don't have activated food one day or one meal, yeah. you see the difference and then you don't want to do it. No. You don't want to. And, and, and something else I want to add that you said before, it's very important to feel free not to feel that you have to do this. If you if you do this every day, you eat healthy and you like it and you enjoy it because I'm addicted to this. Uh, I just go out and then one day somebody has a birthday party. Okay, I will just eat some spoons of the birthday cake. And believe me, I don't even like the taste anymore. I don't like the taste. And I feel like it's very, very sweet for me from now on. It's 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 I can't just I, I was thinking that I wanted to have a birthday cake uh, one day and I was always thinking about it and thinking. And then I said, why do you think about it? When you go to eat it, you find it very sweet and you can't eat it. So it's just in, in your mind. But I do this. I go and I try something, even just a, a spoon or two, and I don't explain any, to anybody. So it's just easy in your life to make your exceptions and uh, just enjoy with the others. 
The you said to me thing. every day, every day you have to, to do your job with your body. And then it's not the one day that you're going to try something or eat a, a slice of pizza, maybe, whatever. I don't know. You said you said two things that I want to underline. You said it's very important to feel free. Yes. Don't start, oh, this is not activated. Don't hold on. Forget it. Just yes. feel free. Let mm -hmm. the body ask it. And the second, you said, I don't explain anything to anyone. This is very important as well. Do not explain. Do not explain. People don't want to listen. They are not happy to listen to that because that means they will have to try to change. They are not happy. They are not happy. So don't explain to anyone. Just do yeah. what you have to do and you will, yes. That very well, Corina, Mo, Corina Mo, mm -hmm. another thing is that you need to be organized and then it's very easy. Because a lot of people, they're telling me, no, nah, no, nah, you, you were working half day. That's why you were doing this. You were not uh, busy as I am. No, I was always busy with three children, with a husband that had needed parties every night. I had a lot of things to do and I was always finding time. But it's what you taught us from the beginning. You need to organize one day to arrange everything, your shopping or your uh, soaking. And then it's more easy every day it's more easy because you have everything ready in the site and you use them just that and people people do not understand how much time going to the supermarket takes i think they didn't uh, they think oh i don't have time to soak my nuts and make sprouts but i do have time to drive go and park to the supermarket get into this supermarket yes go around yeah. The thing shop 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 yes. and then come back. you don't you don't need the supermarket you anymore. Don't, you don't do that you don't do that. I haven't. Been I, I don't need a supermarket anymore. Yes, we don't need. I even turned off my fridge once. <laughs> 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 you don't need this. You just go to the fruit market and you just uh, buy one time the rice and everything there, the the wheat and the nuts, and you don't need all this stress that you had. I had years ago that I was going to the supermarket to buy two trolleys. Nothing. Exactly. Actually, it's easier. People go to the supermarket once a week and they spend at least two hours for that. These two hours, you can yes. do your preparation yes. once a week and that's it. Mm -hmm. And how healthy. I do it abroad also. I do it abroad. Yes, I show you. Yeah. Every, yes. every summer, I'm not in Cyprus and I do it in Greece because there, again, it's local and it's fresh. And I just, uh, and I found a place, I buy my nuts now, and uh, I have everything again, like here. Yeah. Perfect. So okay. Yes. Because I Come eat raw I'm lentils also. And yeah, ah, you eat raw lentils. Yes. Raw lentils Good. and raw wheat. It's, uh, yeah. it's the raw meal that uh, may be twice a day. And it's so nice because I take them with me, just cut the vegetables, throw all the things inside, and I'm full and I'm so happy. Mm. Very nice. Yes. Very. And I find nice. I find smoothies. I find fruit salads. You you do, you don't need to panic. Just to enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. True. Very nice, Marina. Thank yes. you very much. And Donny, <laughs> yeah. you want to share your experience with activated food? No, we cannot hear you. No. Ah, here. Yes, yeah. yes, we can hear you now. Yeah, well, uh, I've been for uh, many years uh, vegan, but uh, it's a huge difference between vegan and activated vegan. Uh, being then turning back to activated, uh, I think the uh, advantages almost double. The way the the food was cooked and the results uh, I had to my uh, body and uh, wh whatever I, I could uh, have much more energy it was a uh, uh, great difference. The other thing is for uh, those who, with a sweet tooth, uh, I found it very uh, easy to uh, have uh, dry resins. And it's a, a very good sweetener, uh, dry resins. Uh, uh, but uh, actually, whatever this the lady before said, it's um, absolute truth. 
uh, it uh, changes the whole behavior of the uh, body and uh, uh, I, and I don't know. It's it's uh, I'm amazing what I could uh, uh, say. The difference I, I can feel in my body and the way I behave uh, in my life. Okay. And I want to underline uh, what, uh, what Andonis, because he didn't say it, so how we say it. Andonis is a man and he's very much bored to cook. He wasn't cooking okay. his food. Cooking uh, one food, put it in the fridge and eat it for three days because he didn't want to cook. And now he cooks every day. Every day he wakes up, he soaks, or he has a ready sprout, and he cooks. Why? Because he cooks in 15 minutes. He cooks his own food. He is one person. He cooks his own food in 15, 20 minutes. So he. Not only that. Does... Hmm? The thing is that uh, I carry the, the uh, uh, sprouted uh, food and I cook it during sailboat races. Even yeah. the, the, the people are so happy. <laughs> having it uh, in spite of those horrible sandwiches with hams and things uh we even cook uh, during uh, uh sailboat racing uh, uh it's uh, amazing we, we i make people very happy <laughs> uh, exactly. so, so it's it's a really really um, something that uh, changed my life and uh, uh, i see now uh, people of my crew Getting uh, interesting to to become uh, uh, to come to the uh, activated uh, food uh, a way of uh, uh, okay very nice Andorim thank you very much thank you Hi. Oui, so thank you. the only the only reason I want people to share their experience is because um, some things sound inconvenient let me just mute you man. okay i did it uh, i did it and it's fine so something sound inconvenient like oh i don't want to eat uh, i don't want to throw away the food let me eat it the next day i don't want to cook i'm one person i don't want to cook every day i know this sound inconvenient but long term they will pay you back so think about it and um, i know that people have families and Children might not like your activated food. Um, even if that happens, cook for yourself and give them the crap they want to eat or the health, semi-healthy, non-activated stuff they want to eat and let them watch you eat activated food. Let them watch you. And when they grow up, they will ask you what it is or they will remember that you were cooking and eating separate food. So it might not work immediately on kids, but it will work later. And I've seen that as well with kids. Give them what they want, but let them see you eating activated food. Uh, Eddie, you want to ask something? I'd like to ask something. Marina mentioned earlier that she's eating uh, sprouts uncooked. So I want to ask, I'm doing the activated uh, thing now for about six months. And something that I noticed naturally, and I want to see if other people have it as well. I was doing the three meals, the one cooked. But as I do it, I feel that I want to eat more raw. And I don't feel like cooking it. So for me, for example, the lentils are good to be like uncooked. So if I use, I don't, I don't eat like cooked stuff. But it comes naturally. Is it okay? Because I remember in the beginning you mentioned that we do that in the beginning because we're used to eat cooked food. And as we go on, we will be more used to eat raw. Sometimes I feel pressure to cook it. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, if you feel like, and then you check yourself and you see that after you feel okay and you can sit in meditation, you can sit quietly without feeling over overwhelmed with the raw food, yes, you can do. But please check yourself because you are in the holistic spiritual training group. I don't want you to be unsettled when we do our breathing. That's why I prefer cooked food because the raw food sometimes creates hypertension. 
okay, yes, we want energy. Yes, we want to be, you know, to have, to be active, but not hyperactive. So you check, and if the food doesn't bring you, if you are not Vata, you are a little bit of Vata. So long-term, the raw food will not be good for you if you, if you eat, eat it long-term. Now, if you were kapha, if you had kapha, too much mucus, I would say it more raw. It's not a problem. Um, but because you are vata, be careful. Watch yourself hmm? and be careful. And uh, you might need, if, when it's hot, to eat more raw food. And when, then when it gets cold, to eat cooked food more. So I uh, know I didn't answer exactly because it depends on the person. Because I know no, you. You see, you see it, I thought it was the same for everyone. And I didn't realize that it has to do with the vata and stuff or that it would make me hyperactive. So, okay. Yes, yes. Just be careful. It might not happen immediately, Erin. It might not happen mm -hmm. immediately. It happen long in, in the long-term use. So just watch it. If you feel one day do it on the raw, do it. Or if you want to have two raw meals and one cooked meal, do it. But watch yourself. Watch it. Because you are already hyper. We can combine this uh, uh, according to the season. Like you told us, uh, 60 yes. to 40. Yes. Yes. Uh, if it's summer, I do two-thirds raw. Yes. And it's easy, and you find things more more easy, and it's and you can you can uh, deal with it because the weather helps you. But if it's winter, it's better to to reverse it and do it. Uh, maybe I don't know, sixty to forty. Then we will be eighty to twenty in the summer. But in the winter, we we need a bit the the hot food, so I make it uh, also less uh, less in the winter. In the summer is Perfect. nice. To yes, my This is the season I was very nice. Mm. Yes, season to add the season. Of course, vata goes down in the summer. So you can in the summer you can eat more raw, raw. but in the winter vata goes up. So then you have to eat more cooked food. That's very nice. Now about the peanut butter and any nut butter, the ideal to make it activated, you soak it in water and then you dry it in the sun or in the dehydrator. And then you put it without water in the blend, in the high speed blender, and you, you uh, with a stick, you move it, you, you, you blend it until it becomes butter. This is the best way. If you, uh, you are in UK, you can put it on the heater, under the heater or uh, to, to, to dry, uh, uh, yes. Yes, Christian, we finished, we finished. The only thing I want to say and we're done is that those who are in the activated vegan food group um, have in mind that the activated vegan food is part of the holistic spiritual training as well. So we will start a new group in Greek and in English, in English every Wednesday uh, and in Greek every Sunday. We start a new holistic spiritual training group, and now we have it in English as well. So if you are interested, just uh, text me or uh, write, uh, email me, wherever. So I will give you more in today. Or go to yogalifecyprus.org, and you can find the uh, uh, details about the holistic spiritual training. So um, you have a more holistic view. And now we talk only about the diet. But there are other things like breathing techniques, like um, philosophy, um, philosophy and uh, concentration techniques that can change our mind setting um, using the activated food as a tool, but also working with other tools to change our mind settings and develop the mind better. So if you're interested in that, we start in September. So email me or text me to give you more details. That's it. So thank you for being here. Thank you very, very much. And I will see you again. Next month is in Greek. And the month after is again in English. So November, now it's October. November will be in Greek. And December will be, I think you asked me, December is the next one in English. Okay? And the first Monday of each month. So first Monday of December, we'll do the English again.
Thank you so much. If you have any other questions, just don't don't just text me or email me and I will answer to everything. Much love. Yes, with them, Sorry,